This is the back of the uh, studio complex area. There's a lot of residents that are in the large building that is more like a big commune, I think, for different ones. But the studio that I was assigned was this back isolated area, which uh, we're going to go into right now. Here's the studio space. Super spacey. The desk and nice uh, piano. Even has a bed if I want to nap in here. And a bunch of signatures of which I'm guess I'm going to add my own. Piano's a kawaii. Not the most in tune, but not that this matters. I'm not really going to be using this piano for much, except for messing around. Maybe most of my stuff's going to be at this desk on the computer. Just want to note the super old school boombox here that has two tape decks and probably has high speed dubbing. This is the front of the residency barn where all of the fellows do all of their work, I guess. There were some deer that just popped up over on that side, but they ran away. And this is the walking path to get to the office and then the residence hall and common areas and eating area, which I'm heading to right now because there's going to be dinner at six. And I guess that's a social event gathering to meet all the other fellows. I just realized that this is not a real truck. Here's my little studio space. Bunch of closets. Nice bed. One little bathroom and shower, which is nice. Door that leads out to the outside. Had to uh, Mardi Gras it up a little bit. Put a little bit of New Orleans flavor into this place. There are these uh, upper shelves here, which are, I'm not a short person, but I cannot really reach that to any degree of depth. And there is uh, no step stool in here. So not necessarily built for short people. So I just got out of dinner where I ended up meeting probably 10 to 15 other residents that are here as a part of the fellowship. Some are in the tail end of being here for two to three weeks to four weeks. Somebody else, it was their first day. Somebody else, it was their third or fourth day. And a couple of those people are only here for a week as opposed to what I'm doing, which is a full month here. It was interesting and great to have the dinner be an immediately welcoming and inviting space. Everybody felt like they were already friends, close friends even, even though they had only been a brief touch point in each other's lives, and I definitely feel included in that. Uh, interestingly, there aren't that many composers. Uh, somebody said that one composer just left. Most of the people that I met were either writers or visual artists. One person I met that uh, defined herself as a new media artist and discovered that in a previous life she was a color guard member and actually marched in drum corps in the Sacramento Mandarins. So that was a neat little connection because I was wearing my Rhythm X t-shirt and she recognized who that was. After dinner there was a little bit of a post-dinner hang. We were outside by the fire and then some people said, okay, I have the itching to go back into the studio and do some work. And I was feeling the same pull, so I ducked out of socializing so I could come back into my little back house of a studio and uh, do some work. So I'm going to do some stuff this evening, fresh from a bunch of inspiration of being around a lot of really interesting and creative people. And then that'll finish uh, day one of this residency.
It's the morning of day two of my residency. The first full day that I'm going to have here since I got in yesterday around 3.30 p.m. I just wanted to do a quick thing this morning because as I was walking to the studio after dinner last night, I forgot to mention this, freight train tracks and a freight train that apparently runs uh, fairly often. And that there's usually one super late at night in which all the other ambient noise like traffic goes away. So I might try to take my H6 sometime in the near future around midnight and uh, see if I can find some way to get close to the tracks. There's a fence here, or maybe even here, it would be a decent place to just set up a recorder and get a uh, decent recording of the freight train passing by because freight trains is the subject of what's going to be the third movement of Through the Sonic Glass. So hopefully I can get some good stuff. Hey there, bug. How's it hanging? Just hanging out? My first lunch provided in this very handy Eagle container. Lunch is the one meal that is not a buffet style. You order ahead of time online and it gets dropped off in a feed room that is through that building over there. And yeah, today I opted for the curry chicken salad. Uh, after my lunch break, I probably took about four and a half hours or so to uh, work on this project. Uh, time went by fast. I forgot when I get really deeply involved into the weeds of a project just how much um, I lose sense of time. I'd say that this is probably about five minutes worth of music that I've finished up and notated close to what I want it to be to send to the composer that's in charge of this project. I'd say that's about half of what I am writing for her. I also took a little bit of time to mock up a Reaper audio edit that also includes some of the text that's being used for this. And I did a bunch of cutting and slicing to mock up what my composition is with MIDI stuff would be like with the pacing of the text. So the next step of this is to take that material and send it back to the composer and see if she likes the direction that I've gone with this. I also received in the mail today my absentee ballot for me to be able to vote while I'm still at this residency. So dinner tonight involved some vegetables and salad, but the main two courses were a breaded cod cake, fish cake, which was very tasty, and also um, a okra that had been stripped hollow, wrapped around shrimp, and then lightly breaded, which you put into like a cocktail sauce. And that was really, really good. After dinner, there were two fellows that did readings, which is something that occurs on a fairly regular basis. One was from a woman named Amy who read a work in progress that she was working on for a while, but then stopped because she uh, got involved in another project. And the other one was from a woman named Patricia who has a book that's in its final form, but it hasn't been uh, bought by a publisher yet. The readings were excellent. The material was excellent. The way that they read it also was excellent. I'm now back in the studio. I'm going to do some business and work and check on a grant that's due tomorrow. Um, but then I'm going to try to knock out a little bit more of this scene for Licity and uh, see if I can finish up or get close to finishing up the first draft of the first scene so that tomorrow I can focus all of my energy on the second scene. 
Hopefully, I'll be able to be in here for a few more hours, uh, taking me to around 11 p.m. midnight before I feel like I need to crash and uh, uh, call it a night. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, it for the first full day, I got a lot of stuff done and had some pretty great interactions. And I'm looking forward to more of it. Day three, about 9.30 a.m., having a bit of a later start this morning because I went out to the grocery store to grab the snacks and LaCroix that I've been missing in my life. I ended up walking to my studio at the same time as somebody else, another fellow who came at the same day as me two days ago. His name is Anthony. He's from North Carolina, and he is a painter, uh, specifically a minimalist painter. So we ended up having a nice little conversation about our respective minimalist uh, tendencies. I didn't end up doing the rest of that scene for the spoken word opera last night because I found myself being really exhausted because I think that the two day drive fatigue finally caught up to me and I just really needed a good night's sleep. So I'm coming in a little fresher this morning and uh, ready to get to work. Just wanted to point out that today I'm sporting my pseudo funky sneakers, my Hermes socks, my World Expo Dubai pants, and a pearless crawfish shirt. New Orleans representing. Lunch today is a pimento cheese sandwich with some sort of, looks like a pineapple thing with marshmallows some carrots and some dipping ranch I assume and some chips this ladybug has found its way onto my small little tripod it's such a cutie also I discovered when I was looking at this HP printer and leaning over a little bit of my chair that hidden behind this paper is a package of Smarties. I really wonder how long that's been sitting here. For all I know, it could be years. That might not matter. They might be consumed. Rain just started to happen. Happened pretty quickly, pretty hard, pretty fast. It's funny because the section of music that I'm working on right now involves some text that talks about rain dropping on the side of a house. So it's about 10 till 4.30. There is a VCCA weekly apple cider meet and greet staff thing, fellow thing, social, that I'm going to go to. Uh, spent the past few hours off and on. I took a bit of a break because I had a little bit of a headache, but uh, spent the past few hours finishing up and doing a bunch of notational work for this graphic notation er area of this music. Um, I just have to fix some notation things and do the last few measures, and then this scene will be complete. about 10 30 right now i haven't actually done any work since coming back to the studio for the past couple of hours because i was on the phone with my parents to wish my mom a happy birthday it's her 80th birthday today and then also catching up with hannah who uh, i haven't had a chance to have a facetime or talk with for a little while i will say that at dinner tonight and in the post-dinner hang i had some great conversations with some of the fellows here most of which I've already met now, but we got a little bit deeper into who they were and uh, what they're all about as people. Also learned a little bit more about Sweetbriar College specifically and the history, a bit more about the history of the VCCA. The person who's been running the VCCA um, is retiring 
at the end of this year after having been here for 34 years. And she had a lot of really interesting things to say about how the VCCA has evolved and how this is a unique residency in the community building aspect of it and why some of these residents and fellows even here, it's not been their first time that they've come back here because they feel very at home here. And I completely understand that. I think that for a first residency in my post um, Tulane career where I'm trying to do my own artistic practice, that this is a pretty outstanding residency. Um, and the people that are here are really neat. Hopefully I'll get the opportunity to share some of my work with them so that they get a sense of who I am as a creative. Really happy that I'm here. I have a lot of days ahead of me, but <clears throat> I know that they're going to be super productive. I'm excited to finish this stuff for Licity by the end of the week and to really dive into the second movement um, really fully in Sonic Glass. I'm going to call this the end of day three and uh, look forward to more days to come.